Welcome back to Poker Night. In this video, I'm going to show you a much more fun and interactive way to play five card draw. Now, a lot of people don't play five card draw because it doesn't generate big pots. Uh, it's not that fun. So I'm going to show you five card draw strip tease. Uh, some people call it five card draw strip it down. Some people say it's five card draw strip it. Uh, I prefer five card draw strip tease. Keep watching, I'm going to show you how to play it and deal it. So this is how you deal and play five card strip tees. Determine what your ante is. We're going to say each chip is worth a quarter and the ante is going to be a quarter. Make sure you shuffle your deck. Deal all players five down cards. Now of course they can pick them up and look at them. Still show any of the other players. And once everybody has their five down cards, betting action goes clockwise, left of dealer. And this player here is going to take a look at his cards, and oh yeah, he's going to bet. So we're going to say he's going to bet a quarter, and we're just going to say everybody else is going to call. Now the groups of guys I play poker with, a five card draw, you can draw four cards if you show the dealer you're holding an ace. If you're not holding an ace, the most cards you can draw are three. We never allow anyone to draw five cards. So those are the rules that we play with, and that's how I'm gonna deal and play this one. So this player here, uh, let's see, we're gonna throw away two, and take a look at this player's cards. Well, that looks good. And we're going to say he'll throw away two as well. And dealer. And let's see. Dealer will throw away two. So get these throwaway cards out of the way. If you're playing with six, seven guys, sometimes they get mixed around and get kind of close and someone will accidentally pick them up. So get the throwaway cards out of the way and deal everyone the draw cards they need to get a five card hand. And now everybody can look at their cards and you can organize them however you want. Let's maybe you want to put maybe you got four spades and you want to bluff somebody out so you put four spades on top. Maybe you want it to look like you have a full boat so you do a pair and a pair. So organize them however you want, because as you turn them over, that's how they're going to show on the table. So once you set them down on the table, you cannot reorganize them. And then, playing action still goes clockwise. This player here, he's going to turn over a one card. And he can better check. We'll say he's going to bet a quarter. And all players are going to call. Now continue clockwise around the table, and this player here needs to turn over enough cards to beat that two. So he's got the two beat, it's his turn to bet. We're going to say he's got to bet a quarter, and everybody's going to call. Continue clockwise around the table, next player has got to beat the five. He's got to beat with the ten. Dealers are going to bet a quarter. And we'll just say all players call. Continue around. This player here needs to beat the 10. So he's got to turn over enough cards to beat the 10. Pair of sevens. His turn to bat. Say he's going to bat a quarter. Everybody's going to call. Continue around the table. This player here needs to turn over enough cards to beat the pair of sevens. Pair aces. His turn to bet. He likes those aces. He's going to bet a quarter. And all players will call. Continue around the table. Next player needs to beat the pair of aces. Keep turning over enough cards to beat the previous hand. Dealer's got all his cards out. He cannot beat the aces. So dealer's out of the game. And once a player, as you continue around, if a player is out, the previous player has another chance to bet again. 
So this player here, he's going to bet another quarter, and this player over here is going to call him. So this player here, turn over his last card, three sevens. He likes those sevens, he's going to bet a quarter. This player here is going to call, and we're going to see his last card. So as you can see, the three sevens is going to win the pot. Well, look how big the pot is with just playing three hands. When you're playing six or seven guys, there's easily 15, 20 bucks in this pot. Playing this variation of five card draw. And that ends the game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this variation. Uh, deal it out at home for some practice. Uh, you might want to, if you're going to introduce it to your uh, first time at your poker night with your buddies, you might want to just deal a uh, no cash hand where there's no no cash is exchanged. You just kind of a play around so everyone knows how to play the game. Because some people have never played it that way. And then the second round you deal it normal where everybody's going to bet. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you enjoy this variation. I hope you take it to your next poker night and your poker buddies enjoy it as well and you guys have a good time playing it. And I thank you for watching the video.